got to have a lot more than $14 million. But do you believe that's true? See, I don't. No. I don't believe No, you that's don't. really a lot of money. I don't believe that. I mean, that. you know, you can, for example, if somebody liked me and they bought me my pillow, I'd be very happy. <laughs> okay. My I don't pillow, need, we go a little bit better than my pillow. I don't pillow. have to have a million dollars. Don't stop at my pillow for me. Welcome to PTI, boys and girls. In today's episode, the Lakers ask LeVar to tone it down. Please. The Yankees are interested in Manny Machado, and Mike and I will explore a little role play. I was my but pillow. we begin today with the fact that Aaron Rodgers has been cleared to play football. The Packers are at Carolina this Sunday. Big game. Wilbon, if you ran the league, would you be excited about Aaron Rodgers' return or be concerned with the blow the league would take if he gets re-injured? Look, the NFL's had a lot of stuff this season, a lot of missteps, a lot of things that have sort of hung over it like a dark cloud. Aaron Rodgers' return and what he's risking has nothing to do with the NFL. It has entirely to do with Aaron Rodgers. It doesn't even have to do with the Green Bay Packers. If Aaron Rodgers didn't want to do this, he wouldn't be doing it. He's Aaron Rodgers. He's not some college sophomore who feels the outside pressure from a school and a, some nation to play football. He's right. Aaron Rodgers. Right. If he gets out there and gets hurt, God knows I don't want that to happen. Nobody does. It's not on the league. This is not like he's going in after two or three concussions. He knows the risk he's taking. So if I asked the question, if you ran the league, how would you feel? Excited. You just said, you know, Excited. Okay. okay. Here's my great fear that we have talked about before, that Aaron Rodgers becomes Tony Romo, that he breaks it again and again okay. and again, and the next time we see him, he's in a broadcast okay. booth. So I would have that fear. But if I ran the league, overcoming that fear would be my excitement because I've lost Watson, and I've lost Watt, and I've lost Wentz, and Aaron Rodgers is a big time. The, the legend grows greater, and Aaron Rodgers is not just a good player. He's a star. He's a big star, so I'd be so excited. Much. Because last year, Aaron Rodgers goes 6-0. and oh, That's right. I Got believe with 15 touchdowns and zero yeah. picks yeah. and 71 percent completion rate of his passes. So this is what you look for, which, by the way, is exactly why it's not going to happen this year. Nonetheless, I want to see Aaron Rodgers I out there. Too. I want to see too. him protected. And if he gets hurt, that's will a... Wentz will feel bad. That's the way it goes. And, and that's, it's football. I, Hello. I want to see Not him. golf. Yes, I want to we see We do want to see, him. see We agree him. with that. Riveting and terrifying story in today's Washington Post detailing former NFL running back Larry Johnson's fears that at 37 years old, he's suffering the effects of CTE. Johnson tells Kent Babb he feels demons urging him to jump and says he has no memory of two full NFL seasons and lapses he calls blank spots. There are complicating matters like Johnson's six arrests, five for various assault charges against women, and a daughter he's afraid to know these details. Tony, when you read this story, you think what? Number one, I think that it's very sad. And number two, I think that is potentially very dangerous to him and to others. In this story, he says he identifies with Aaron Hernandez. Okay, now we know that Aaron Hernandez murdered at least one person and then, and then took his own life. So, so is Larry Johnson saying to us, stop me right. before I do is he crying something out for help? tragic? Is he saying, this is where I am headed, stop me? And then, then it gets very complicated. Because then what do you do? Do you take him off the street? Do you have the right to do that? Do you put him in a mental health facility? What, what do you do? What is going on here? Because he's, he's, I think, saying I'm no longer in complete control of my actions. I agree with all that. But my primary concern isn't even of Larry Johnson. I don't mean to seem unsympathetic because I am to a degree, though I have no idea about the violence and what the cause effect situation is there. But, Tony, you and I know a lot of former football players between the ages now of 50 and 75. We know a lot of guys. We play golf. We socialize with a lot of guys. And I worry that the people I know and am friends with, and I don't know Larry Johnson, but the guys I'm friends with, they've expressed in some cases to me some fears, not this extreme. But I'm just wondering, yeah. what percentage of the population, Tony, of ex-football players are we talking about? And I, I think this has to scare the hell out of them. To this point, the only way you could diagnose CTE is after somebody was dead. Right. Now, they're working on tests to find they stuff can't out. can't do that while you're well, alive. Well, you talked about the arrests before, particularly the violence towards women. 
presumably he would have had more self-control then. If this is a degenerating disease, right. he would have well, less... When did it start? So he's been I playing for 23 so years, I, organized football. I don't know, but this, this story and this person cannot simply be ignored. No. No, you, you, you got to get in And it can't be treated as isolated. No. Maybe his personal fears are isolated, no. but you can't just say, oh, this is just a guy in a vacuum. You Again, can't. Again, dangerous to himself, dangerous to others, potentially. The Los Angeles Lakers reached out to LeVar Ball and asked him to tone down his criticism of the team and its coach, Luke Walton. Ball told all this to ESPN's Ramona Shelburne. Ball said, quote, I'm going to say whatever I want to say, however I want to say it. And they said, LeVar, come and talk to us first. So that's fine, too, unquote. Well, Bon, what do you think of the Lakers' strategy here? Um, the Lakers are trying to be above board. They're trying to be calm about this. They don't want to just infuriate him. They don't want to treat him like the bull with the red cape in front of him. But we've seen teams get tough with parents in this league. Mothers, in, in the cases I'm thinking of, and I'm not even going to mention their names because I don't want this to seem inflammatory, but they've said, you know, no, you're not getting free seats. As a matter of fact, if you get in the house at all, you can be up here. We're not going to allow you to be a menace to either people in the building or even the player who's your son whom we yeah. pay. Yeah. At some point, yeah. Tony, I think this is going to go that way with LeVar Ball. Just not today. This could be the first step. I think this is complete appeasement of LeVar Ball. I think it's an acknowledgement of LeVar Ball, LeVar Ball soliciting bending to LeVar Ball. Just a couple of weeks ago, Luke Walton said, we don't need to hear from parents of players here. He's right I think that. this is an about face by the Lakers. And oh, I, don't, I don't think that. I don't believe I don't for a second that LeVar Ball believes anything other than this. Yeah. You should hire me. I'm the yeah. best coach for my kid. And if you think I am not going to talk, you people are crazy because I'm in the brand business. Tony, he, you can never stop him from talking. You should never try to stop him from talking. You can stop him from doing it in your arena. I don't believe this is necessarily an appeasement. I believe this is a first step. And you can go to whatever What's authorities the next you need. What's I the just last told step? you. The last You've step is the seen from the parents building? thrown out. Right. You've seen that. Yeah. And we think? know those parents. So so don't tell me LeVar Ball can't be thrown. Because there's some mamas who've been tossed. But those parents don't have the appeal to the media that LeVar Ball has cultivated that, for that's a number true. of years now. I, I wonder what we're talking about that's here. True. This is somebody... This is somebody, if I'm not mistaken here, who has taken two of his kids and sent them to Lithuania yeah. to take them one out of school at 16, send them to Lithuania to play ball. It, it doesn't strike me that LeVar Ball will voluntarily He's not. stop and being And so you take the first step, the second step, and then three strikes, perhaps you're out. I, I, I'm not okay. going to speak for the Lakers. I don't know that. Let no. me just say, for the record, I don't believe anything LeVar Ball says ever, and not this either. N not this either. This next story, it's like a flashback to the mid-2000s, or maybe back to the 1970s, when the Yankees were stockpiling stars and future Hall of Famers. Last week, it was Giancarlo Stanton. This week, it could be Manny Machado. Buster Olney reports from the baseball winter meetings that the Yankees are one of the teams that expressed interest in the Orioles' fabulous third baseman shortstop. Tony, how about a lineup of Judge, Stanton, Machado? Would that be good or bad? For baseball. You can add Sanchez to that lineup. Yeah. It wouldn't be good. It'd be great. Yeah. It'd be great. I think so. Because what the Yankees would be doing is saying, we want to go 162-0. and We're once again the team of George Steinbrenner, not his kids. We're the best team that money can buy. You try and stop us. And if you want to hate us, fine. We're good with that. And I think it couldn't be better for baseball. You know, you talk about a super team. And, and, and somehow in baseball, it's not resented like it is basketball, which is interesting, and I won't get into some of the more moving dynamics. Parts, more moving. Uh, you got to have yeah. it's nine guys. I more. think there's other stuff. Um, but I, I, I think it'd be great because, I, Tony, we have done this long enough where I know we both believe this. Great team in any sport good. is good for that sport. Absolutely, 100%. I mean, we, we, we still refer 100%. in football to the 07 Patriots, the 85 Bears, the yeah. 72 Dolphins. Sure, sure. You have these sure. great teams, those steel, the Steel Curtain teams, the four of them. I don't care what the sport is in baseball. You have various teams and often Yankee teams, 27 Yankees. It can't be bad for baseball. There's no argument So to that we effect. sat here, and when Kevin Durant went to the Golden State Warriors, we said that's good. That's well, we good, did, but a lot of people went crazy. They well, didn't I'm not like talking it. about them. I'm talking oh, about us because okay. that's good because it makes, it makes a super team. Now, the one question I have, Machado has said he wants to go back to shortstop. The Yankees have Didi Gregorius. 
Didi Gregorius last year hit 287 with 25 homers and 87 RBIs. But isn't RBI. Gregorius his natural position third? The two of them, one of them can play. Derek Jeter didn't do that. Let no, him alternate. Stop. Let him alternate. It doesn't matter. Those guys are left side infielders. They'll figure it out. What you can't? What you can't what? talk to one? I, I, I but don't Chavo know. I don't like know. To be in that lineup, um, you would think he would, but yeah. if playing shortstop is more important, then they yeah. get rid of Gre Gregorius. Very good shortstop. He's very you know, good shortstop. Maybe he'd like to go play next to Chris Bryant. I'm just saying. Maybe you're always huh? you're always recruiting. You're angling for the New York Yankees, huh? They weren't even your team. You're cheating on the Giants right now. I understand, but but again, a great team. That's just a good thing for the league. Floats all yes, above. It does. Yes, it does. We have a new development in the Shohei Otani story. Yahoo obtained a medical copy of a report showing that Otani has a first-degree sprain in a ligament in his pitching elbow. Now, this is a little something now, but a more aggravated sprain usually leads to Tommy John surgery. The Angels say they knew of this and they are, quote, very happy to have the player, unquote. Well, Bon, if you ran the Angels, what would your level of concern be? You know, I... Probably depends on who in the Angels organization I was. Am I the guy primarily who wanted to spend the money on Mr. Otani? Then my concern might be a, a nine. But if I ran, truly, it's not ran, much money. He's making well, five hundred seventy-five thousand. It's not that. This you got you. You're starting to get your fan base's hopes up. You know, you're right. going to put somebody with Trout. You got this okay. kid who's being billed preposterously as the, you know the Japanese Babe, Babe Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. Okay. So also, Tony, it seems that at that age, so many pitchers have or have had by that point. Tommy John surgery. And they come back from it now, old. 23 years old. Yeah. He's close to it, but they also have this platelet surgery now, which is like mm. going and getting a prescription, you know, for a headache well, in Japan, yeah, not as well, easily dealt with in the U.S., but well, Chris, almost. Wait, Chris Sale almost, Chris and Masahiro Sale, Tanaka yeah. have done this, and yeah. they have pitched with this same sort of thing and have pitched very well with the same sort of thing. But I look at his age. Uh, we are told that he throws at 102 miles an hour. If he gets Tommy John, he comes back in the year and throws at 105 and has 10 more years, then that's pretty good. He doesn't cost them much now, so they can afford to wait. And by the way, if he's the Japanese Babe Ruth, go out there and hit. Hit 60. Go hit. At yeah, least, at least he hit the 29. Yes. Ruth, Ruth stopped at 29 before yeah. he went to 60, didn't yeah. he? I, as a I, pitcher. Yeah, I don't. This is hardly qualifying as an enormous deal. And if you're, the, I, yeah, I and if you're the, the if you're the Anaheim Angels, oops, I said Anaheim. I'm sorry, the California, California, California Angels. Yeah. You know, you're still trying to put something together, and nobody should have much in the way of expectations anyway. Yeah, I mean, except you, Pujols and Trout. You look at these medical. Everybody's got something. That's right. They everybody's do. got something. Yeah. If you're there for the, it's 23 years old, and he's cost them virtually nothing now. You know, just no. go ahead and just pop the elbow, give him Let's the Tommy go. John, and then make a Let's run. take a break, but coming up, Jimmy Garoppolo shares some pointed thoughts about Tom Brady, or a cardboard cutout of him does anyway. Derek Jeter defends himself. Oh, uh, that means role play must be next. Takes two of us to do role play. You have to be here. Are there gift of baskets? The road. I've been here three straight weeks. You've been gone. I've been here Go more. Welcome back to Pardon the Interruption, presented by Captain Morgan, part of Happy Hour. Mmm, that music gets me in the mood for a little role play. Let's get started, Mike. Why don't you give I will receive? All right, Tony. Who am this I? This seems like a big, long head. Who am I? Who am Tony, I? Tony, you are Niners quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. Did the Patriots make a mistake in trading you, but keeping the golden boy? Golden boy? You mean that geezer they got back there? The guy who short-armed every single pass against Miami? Have I mentioned that I'm 2-0 in the games that I played on a team that was 1-10 and 10 before I got there. Do you think Kyle Shanahan is really going to go after Kirk Cousins now? No, 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 no. I'm going to get paid more than Brady next season. What is the only essential difference between me and Brady besides wife. the five rings and the supermodel wife? But I got 14 years to go get those. And by the way, I got two rings right now courtesy of the old man, and I think I could have beaten the Giants because Eli Manning, stop, stop. He couldn't have beaten me. You, you, you're awfully full of yourself. I am. For a guy I who am. was told to get the hell out of Dodge. Well, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Get out. No, no, no. New no, England. No, no, no. We don't need you. Okay. We win. That's fine. Get out. We're winning in San Francisco. Don't with get me. carried away. You got, what do you got? Three or two? You got wow. two? This is a giant head. That is a big head. This who is am a I? giant head. Fat head. You are Joel Embiid. You oh, went good. for 28, 12, and 8 last night. What do you say to people like me who worry about your health? 
Shut up, Grandpa. Because I'm a doctor. No, you're not a doctor. Yeah, I'm a doctor. You're a doctor of English, humane letters, or some such humane God letters. Bosh. That's you're right. a real doctor. Doctor. Don't worry about my body. You see this body put up 28, 12, and 8 last night? Oh, you're grabbing your uh, back. What happened? I hurt my back. Yeah. You know? I mean, I don't know what happened. Somebody threw something and I slipped and we had a boo boo. When's the next time? 28, you're play? 12, and 8. What about your own back and your own body? Your body ain't looking so good. I'm three times uh, older than you. So what? So I'm, your back is... You said on your stupid little TV show yesterday you would take some dude named Kitty Cat. Carl Anthony Towns over me. How'd that work out last Will night? Wilbon said the same thing. Wilbon's Will a fool, too. Wilbon pointed out you played 54 games in three-plus years. He's an idiot, but at least, you know, he didn't have that phony doctorate. He didn't go around shaking that <laughs> thing in phony faces. I'm a doctor. Doctorate. I'm a doctor. You are Derek Jeter. How you feeling about all this criticism you are taking? I'm taking criticism? Yeah. I don't know about that. The lion does not concern himself with the opinions of the sheep. I think people are missing the real big picture here, and that is that I am incredibly handsome and rich. Look at me. Seriously. Look at me. It almost hurts your eyes. The only thing that bothers Everybody me... Everybody in South Florida is incredibly handsome The only thing that I'm really rich. worried about is I've got to try and get A-Rod fired. Now, I have, I have uh, committed myself to a team. I'm using the money that I'm saving on Gene Carlo Stanton to try and get A-Rod fired. Which fired I think, from what? From J-Lo? Seriously, you, get you fired don't from? think that I can handle the criticism of the maybe 27 Marlins fans in the entire world that exist? Why are you tearing up a team with big stars anybody would want to come see? The only now mistake they see I may elsewhere. have made in my own arrogance is trading for a guy named Castro and putting him on this team. You just trading everybody to New York. How about that? Conspiracy with the Yankees. More Yankees. Gift basket. Who am I? You're Paul George. Good. How do you feel about returning to Indiana tonight? I can't wait to get back to Indiana. Really? They Why? cheer me like crazy in Indiana. Don't you remember? We got to the conference finals. You know, LeBron, you know, stole for the help of the referees on Game 7. Did you ever huh? make a single winning shot in I your life? I didn't need to. We, we got to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Should have been the finals. We got cheated. I don't know why they would, you know, feel any differently than they did before. They want because to boo somebody. You, left. you know what? You think they're going to boo me? Yeah. No, I don't think they're going to boo, boo you. Chuck Pagano. Boo they Andrew Luck. To boo him. When was the last time he played in the state? How do you feel about cheer me? never getting the ball because you're playing with two guys who always have the ball? You know when I can get the ball? When? I can get it next year. Oh. When where? I go home. Yeah, that's you know right. where I'm from? Because you're not going to be there. It's a Los little sick. further to away Angeles. from Indiana. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You think I can get the ball? You think LeBron likes to give up the ball? How do you feel you think, about Victor Oladipo out there? You think Lonzo it? Ball can pass it? I'll play with some passers I don't next know. year, big boy. Well, the question I'm just is, saying. I don't know. Huh? Role play now over. Was it good for you? Let's take one last break, but still to come, the owner of the Giants says he wants Eli back. Will he get one? Pardon the interruption is presented by Captain Morgan. Holiday like a captain. Please drink responsibly. Part of happy hour. Happy time, people. Happy 29th birthday, Ricky Fowler. Perhaps the best young player to not yet win a major. Fowler shot a 61 in the final round of the Hero World Challenge to overcome a seven-shot deficit and win. And nobody knew about it because all the focus was on Tigers three rounds in the yeah. 60s. Fowler is said to be the nicest, most accommodating of all the young stars on tour. Don't you find yourself in the majors particularly rooting, like I do, for Fowler? Like Fowler, Fowler, Luke Donald, there's a small group of guys. Well, Luke Donald for. you wrote for because he went he to Northwest. He's a nice guy, Stop. too. Stop. Everybody drink. Happy anniversary, <laughs> Andy Reid. Look at on this. On this day, 46 you years ago, you won the punt, pass, and kick competition <laughs> as a 13-year-old in a Rams uniform <laughs> who looked like he could suit up for the actual That's Rams. That's great. In years past, when we showed the contemporary Andy Reid, he was bigger than this kid. Yeah. But he's lost a lot of weight. Looks very good now, I think. What do you think Andy Reid's lost? Like 75 pounds? And he must have been going 350, three and a half before. Oh, I yeah. Happy trails to Gordon Hayward's walking boot. Hayward will reportedly ditch the boot less than Good. two months from, <clears throat> excuse me, his gruesome injury. Good. Suffered five minutes into his Celtics debut in October. Now, it was widely assumed he'd miss this entire season. I hear. The Celtics are still saying it's likely that he will. But, Wilbon, do you think Aaron Rodgers coming back might be in Gordon Hayward's head? No, he got hurt a lot earlier than Aaron Rodgers. And what did I tell you on the phone the night that Gordon Hayward You said Hayward he'd be back. You, you felt he'd be if back If he could come year. back in April or May and help that team just as a rotational guy, the inspiration he would provide, the depth, how great a story would that be? Well, huh? we, well, the day before, we would do the story that we just did on Aaron Rodgers. Is it good for the league or are you worried he's going <laughs> to get hurt again? Right. No errors today. We run out of show. We go to the big finish. Let's do it. The Marlins traded Marcelo Zuna to the Cardinals. Significant? 
a guy with 37 home runs and who hit better than 300 and 100 plus RBIs, I, as a Cup fan, this is a nightmare. It's a great deal for them. Giants owner John Mara says he wants Eli back in 2018. Will it happen? It depends on how forgiving Eli is because John Mara precipitated this by yeah, not saying not, no, you can't step it in. He created Third this. man in the ring. Arizona State defensive coordinator Phil Bennett is leaving for personal reasons. Wow. Is that a big deal? I thought part of the reason Herman was just going there was because of the attractive nature of the two coordinators. Me too. More news coming, I guess. Kawhi Leonard, 13 points, six boards in 16 minutes last night. The Spurs lost. Net some. Oh, no, this is really good. He can't play 35 minutes yet. Not right this away. This is very good okay. for the first time. On the time. road, too. Last one, I the think. Rockets go for their 11th win in a row tonight, hosting the Hornets. Do you like their chances? Yeah, the Hornets have lost 7-9, to nine, Tony. They're struggling. I think Houston wins again. We're out of time. We'll try and do better the next time. And I'm Tony Kornheiser. I'm Mike Wilbon.